Okay, so before you do your math Excel, I want to give you a little hint. Um, this is a way we are going to start using Desmos calculator a lot the second semester. So I need you to get familiar with it. So what I need you to do is open up a new tab in your Chromebook. And you can do this afterwards, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to desmos.com. Okay, and you're going to open up the Desmos graphing calculator. Now, I'm already signed in because it kept me signed in, but you can sign in using your Buckeye account. So when it asks you, would you like to sign in, say yes, I'd like to sign in with Google, and then it'll save any documents that you create, and you can go back and look at them and call them like for homework or math excels or whatever. Make sure that you save it as that, and Desmos will save anything that you create. So first things first, I, I have a, I don't have this one titled yet, but you could even title this example graph or Mrs. Numbers example and then it would save this graph and you could go back and look at it if you wanted to. So you could save it math excel number four or whatever you wanted to save it as. Now here's my problem okay we, we learned how to do this all by hand but look you can also do this using a graph. Solving systems of inequalities using Desmos. So here is my systems of inequalities and all you have to do is actually type them in. So as soon as I pick this, I have X is, now to find these symbols, you just need to click on this little keyboard down here in the right or left hand column, okay? And I don't need this keyboard, so I can just X out of it. X is greater than four. So as soon as you type that in, you won't have that little keyboard pop up like I do, but as soon as you type, oh, why is it capital? I want a lowercase X. There we go. Okay, as soon as you type that in, notice Desmos graphs it for you and it has a dotted line and everything. Okay, and you don't even have to graph it yourself. Then, to type in the next equation, click on the next line. Okay, and I don't want this for right now. And I want y is great, less than 5. So I'm going to type in y is, oh for heaven's sake, y is less than Five. And look, it graphs both of them for me. So now I can see that my answer is where they overlap. It's where it's kind of purple because the pink and blue make purple. So that's where they both overlap. Now we have one more graph or one more line or inequality to put in. Y is greater than, and I'm going to change that actually to greater than or equal to, which I don't know if it'll let me. Let me see if it'll let me. I'm going to change that to greater than or equal to just so that you can see what happens when you do that. So once I do that, let's say I do y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 2 and I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. y is greater than or equal to, oh no, what was it? 2x minus 2. 2x minus 2. And there it is. Now you'll notice, which, what did I do here wrong? I did something wrong here. No, nope, that's all right. Notice that there is no solution where they all three interlap, overlap. But if there were, I would have to change this. Let's just say I changed my other one to x is greater than, let's do one. Nope. And now they have where all three overlap. So we'll go ahead and change that to a 1 so that they all overlap. And you can see what the solution looks like. But that's just a nice way to use Desmos online graphing calculator to graph your math Excel. So if you're not sure, you miss it one time, you can jump onto Desmos and you can graph them. You can look at your solution and say, okay. But on math Excel, listen, you cannot shade the pink the green and the blue or whatever, you only shade where they overlap, which is in the middle here. You only want to shade where they all three overlap. So we'd take that paint can and we'd shade inside that little triangle. On Desmos, it shades all of them, but inside this is where they all overlap. Okay, and that's it.